Hi everyone, welcome to How to VLAN channel. In this video, we are going to see the steps involved in converting a physical standby database to a snapshot standby. Again, this is DBA VLAN stream. Let us get started. Alright, I have as usual, let's go over the steps. This is to highlight the procedures involved in converting a physical standby database to a snapshot standby. This is a URL and but it applies to most of the version. And you see it's 11.2 I picked. I'm going to exercise this in 12.2, but it uh, even applies to 12.19c. I'm going to do it on a physical standby database. There is no new feature involved. It's the same flashback feature which uh, Oracle exercises to convert a database to a snapshot, physical standby to a snapshot and revert back. So it creates a guaranteed overall. What does it do behind the scenes? It creates a guaranteed restore point, puts the database in rewrite mode and it reverts back the data status of the database back to the recovery mode. There are some restrictions, whatever restriction which you have for the flashback feature applies to the snapshot standby. You cannot modify the structure of the database. Simple. Okay, so let's get started. So there are steps. Verify if the DB is in DB recovery is active already. So you need to ensure uh, you are already having the recovery running. So, if so, stop the recovery and restart the DB in mount state and ensure you have DB recovery destination configured which is FRA. Reason why you need FRA is you are going to enable flashback feature. Of, I mean, not we are not going to enable it. Oracle is going to create a guaranteed restore point so that it can come back to the... When you do a conversion back to physical standby, Oracle will revert back to the guaranteed restore point it created. So that is all it does. Okay. Let's get started. Alright, so let me show you. This is the primary. Alright, this is the standby. Let me change the color of the screen such that the standby screen is in yellow. This is where our exercise is going to be done. Let me clear it and I'll show you the environment setting as usual. This is our environment. Okay connect to the DB Let's check the recovery state the DB is in recovery mode or not <coughs> okay it's a DB unique name you can see database rule is physical standby okay that is the important one it's applying log recovery is ongoing okay so we have to stop the recovery and database is open in which mode <coughs> read only okay I'm cancelling the recovery recovery cancelled now you should see MRP not running anymore. Alright, so we cancel the recovery. And we verified also. So the recovery is no more running. And so, yeah. Let me connect these outputs. Now let's see if we can restart the DB in mount state this will be a real quick video this is part of a larger exercise I'm doing one step one one step of that take a minute database restart completed okay database is still in physical standby mode it is the recovery running if you have data got broken it will automatically put the database in recovery mode so it's not running okay so you're good you just need to verify the recovery FRA is configured or not. 
yeah DV recovery field test and uh, size is 1 GB probably I'll increase this to some 2 GB for my own sake because for the test that I have exercise I'm going to do I need it a much higher size now I'll convert the DV this is the conversion command yeah I initiated it it's converted as well so let's check the role of the DB it's a snapshot standby the database is still in mount state and if I now open the DB it will open it should open in read write mode right it should not open in read only mode you can see here the database is in read write mode all right so this is the exercise guys so and let me see if what is the status of this recovery ideally it shouldn't <laughs> show anything like recovery okay it says data guard allocated I am not sure what it is but I'll show you the restore point it created okay You see here, this restore point was just created few minutes back. Okay, eleven zero five, fourth uh, September. Snapshot standby required. It created okay, and we will start seeing flash backlogs getting created in order to support this you should start see some occupancy from flash backlog you see you know it starts it starts using the flash backlog is to support the guaranteed restore point that's all guys uh, for this video thanks for staying with me and in case you need a uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to How to Well and Channel for more videos. Thank you. Bye.